حي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب اجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين حي الشباب العاملين خير الكتائب اجمعين من شيدوا صرح الرشاد ليرفعوا لله دين من قد ابوا الا الصلاه من مصلحين لا يعملون لغايه الا صلاه المسلمين من قد ابوا الا الصلاه فديتهم من مصلح لا يعملون لغاية إلا فلاح المسلمين لا يعملون لغاية إلا فلاح المسلمين جاءوا الملا برسالة بيضاء من وحي الأمين ودعوا إلى السير القويم على غرار السالفين جاءوا الملا برسالة بيضاء من وحي الأمين ودعوا إلى السير القويم على غرار السالفين قسم اليوم مجدنا فاق مجد الخالد ومشى الركاب بذكرهم ندا على مر السنين قسما لهم مجد اقر فاق مجد الخالد ومشى الركاب بذكرهم ندا على مر السنين قسما لهم Welcome show the Plain Truth TV I'm your host Abu Muhammad Ali Al Ansari In our previous show we were discussing about Do you really love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Then put your love to the test we start out with a couple of steps to show you that how you can gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how you can uh, show your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First, we discuss about the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the means to know about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the means to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we discuss about people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love that we should imitate their characteristics and behavior and try to do action that they do so we can be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can show our love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lastly we discuss about people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that he does not love and we advise you that to stay strive hard to stay away from those characteristics as a sign of your love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we will continue with our shows in this session we will Look in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sunnah what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said concerning about characteristic and quality that is beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala So let us get started Subhanallah Alaihim There are many authentic hadiths in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about the attribute of Allah and his love for the corresponding virtues in which encourage us to act upon them We look in it in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah, where he emphasized about certain characteristics about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala certain qualities, certain attributes that Allah loves so we should strive to imitate those characteristics strive to be like those characteristics to implement those characteristics for the Prophet for verily if we claim that we love Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala then we should strive to do things that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or things that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we see as we see in in the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu who reported the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said all people Allah is pure he only accept what is good and pure this is reported by Sayyid al-Muslim subhanallah lazim that Allah is pure you only accept that is things that are good and pure we shouldn't fool ourselves go rob a bank and give the money in charity. This is not right. This is fooling yourself. Subhanallah lazim. Allah is pure, you only accept that which is pure. Subhanallah lazim. We need to be mindful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves things that are pure. We need to clean ourselves. Clean ourselves from sin. Clean ourselves from impurity. For indeed Allah loves those who are pure. This is one of the hadiths. Another narration the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily Allah is most kind and he loves kindness. This is reported by Sayyid Muslim. We should strive to be kind. Kind in everything that we do. Kind to our people. Kind to our fellow Muslim. Kind to our fellow human beings. This is a characteristic that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala love. Allah is kind, most kind. And he loves kindness. Then we should strive hard to do, to acquire a characteristic of kindness. For indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are kind. If we claim that we truly love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should strive to be among those people who are kind. In another narration, the Prophet said, Indeed, Allah is most beautiful and he loves beauty. 
So we should beautify ourselves for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not for anybody. Only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beautify ourselves only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed Allah loves beauty. Subhanallah al-Azim. If we truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us beautify ourselves for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another narration, the Prophet said, Verily Allah is more generous and he loves generosity and he loves exalted moral character. This is reported by Sunnah al qudra This is Sayyid. Subhanallah al-Azim. In this noble hadith, the Prophet said, Allah is more generous and he loves generosity and he loves exalted character. We should develop a good characters, excellent characters that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should practice generous, generosity. Generosity for indeed Allah loves those people are generous. We truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us strive to be generous, let us strive to be kind. One of the beloved quality of a of a good character to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind and generosity. Allah has reserved a specific reward for those who are kind and gentle and gentle. Subhanallah al -Azim. Allah loves kindness and gentleness in all matter. So we should manifest this quality even we face abuse and cruelty. On one occasion, the Prophet ﷺ was insulted and cursed by his enemy, but he did not respond to the curse. Rather, he showed what? Patient and forbearing, and he encouraged his companion to be kind. As we look in the as we look at the biography of the Prophet Sallallahu he was kind, he was gentle, he was compassionate to even to his enemy, to his an to animals. Subhanallah al -Azim. We need to take example from the Prophet Sallallahu to implement this beautiful character trait that is beloved to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. As Aisha Rajala Anhu and her report that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Verily, O oh Aisha, Allah is gentle and He loves gentleness." He will walk for gentleness, what is not granted for harshness, for he does not reward anything like anything else like it. This is reported by Sayyid Muslim. Subhanallah Lazim. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is gentle and he loves gentleness in everything. He will walk for gentleness that which he does not reward for harshness. So let us develop the characteristic of being gentle. Being gentle dealing with people. Being gentle dealing with animals. Being gentle dealing with the enemy of Islam. Subhanallah al-Azim. For indeed, this is something that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We claim that we truly love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a characteristic we should develop to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah al-Azim. Kindness and gentleness are traits that are inherently good. And whoever has then has been given a good, has been given his good, uh, his portion of goodness. Subhanallah al-Azim. Indeed, kindness and gentleness are traits that are inherently good, and whoever has been given them has given good portion of goodness. Subhanallah al -Azim. As is reported by Jabir, Jair, Jahir radiallahu anhu, who reported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said, He who is deprived of kindness is deprived of goodness. Subhanallah al -Azim. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Whoever is deprived of kindness is deprived of goodness. This is reported by Sayyid Muslim. We should strive hard to be kind, to smile at people, to be kind-hearted, to be to develop good characteristics of kindness. Subhanallah al -Azim. This was a beautiful characteristic trait that we could find in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was always smiling. He was always kind. Whenever people ask him, he will always give. If you look at any seat of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will rarely see when people ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for something, you will say no. Rather, he will always give. Even if he need it, he will prefer other people over himself. Subhanallah al -Azim. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned that he have exalted character. These are characteristics that is beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. If we truly claim we love Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, we should develop these characteristics. Abu Darda Rajala Anhu reported the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever is given his portion of kindness has been given his portion of goodness. Whoever is deprived of his portion of kindness has been deprived of his portion of goodness. This is reported by Sayyid Sunnah Athirmati. Subhanallah al -Azim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is encouraging us to be kind. He's encouraging us to be kind for this is a good characteristic to have. This is a way to melt people hard. The enemy of Islam, this is a way to melt the heart. Don't fight fire with fire, but fight fire with water. 
Subhanallah lazim. We look in the seat of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. People were enemy to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because his his good his good manner, his way of dealing with them, his kindness to them, it changed their view of him, and they became Muslim as a result. So Muslim, so brother and sister in Islam, we should strive to develop these characteristics for these characteristics are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa taala. We truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is one of the beautiful characteristics we have. And also in in hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, who reported the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Take up good deeds only as much you are able for the best deed of those who are done regularly, even if there are a few deeds reported by Sunnah Ibn Majah." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam encouraging us to do good deeds, to strive to do good deeds. Even there are few to continuously keep doing them continuously, for these are the best deeds. For indeed, these are the best deeds. Subhanallah lazim. They should encourage us to take time out, to learn about the deen of Allah, to learn about the names, the attributes of Allah, to learn about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to strive to implement them little by little, little by little, to perfect the, the you know, things that we know about the deen, things that we know about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, things we know about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, characteristics that are beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Let us take time, step by step, to, don't, to do them Continuously, little by little, for these are the best deeds. Even there are few, according to the no, this noble hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Also, on the hadith of Anas ibn Rajala uh, ibn Abbas Rajala anhu, who reported the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Ashab ibn Qais, "Verily, you have two qualities that Allah subhanahu wa taala love. What are these two qualities that Allah love?" The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "They are forbearing and clemency. Verily." The Prophet said concerning by this noble companion that he has two characteristics that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One, their forbearance, two, and cleansing. In another narration, he said they are forbearing and modesty. This is reported by Sayyid al Muslim. Subhanallah al Azim. This is one of the these are two beautiful qualities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Number one is forbearing. Number two is modesty in everything that we do. These are characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. So we should strive hard to be among those people. We should strive hard to develop these beautiful characteristics for these are things that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be forbearing while, while implementing the deen of Allah. Be forbearing with the enemy of Allah. With the enemy of Islam. Let us be forbearing. Let us be modest. Not go to the extreme. Let us not be lazy. But be, um, be on the middle part. Subhanallah is in these are characteristics that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also in the hadith of Anas bin Malik radiallahu anhu where he said where he said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If you make a judgment, then be just. If you kill, then kill the best man. For verily Allah exalted is excellent and he love excellence. Subhanallah is in this is reported by Al Mujam al Al Waqsat. Subhanallah is in. The Prophet ﷺ tells us in this noble hadith that when you judge, then be just. If you kill mean and slaughter animals, then slaughter in the best manner. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love excellence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is excellent and love excellent in everything that we do. We should strive hard to perfect anything that we do to make it perfect as much we are able to. For this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Brian and sister, we will truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should strive hard to develop these characteristics. Also, we look at the hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, who reported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are three people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love. Let's listen carefully. There are three people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love. Number one, a man who stood at night reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man who spent in charity with his right hand while concealing it. Thirdly, a man who spent a, a small expedition whose companion was uh, decapitated, yet he still faced the enemy. This is reported by Sunnah Thirmati. Subhanallah lazim. Three people that are love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A man who recite the book of Allah, implement the book of Allah, and contemplate on the book of Allah, and strive to pray as much as he is able to. Second, a man who spent in charity. He gives charity with right hand concealing from the left hand. He gives so much so that people don't even see it. Subhanallah lazim. And thirdly, a brave man. A person whose companion is dead, but yet he still carry on fighting the enemy of, his enemy of Allah. 
Subhanallah, let's see. So bravery is characteristic that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah need Allah wants brave people for this deen. Allah wants real men, real women, not male, not female. Real men and real women that will carry this deen. We should strive hard to be among those people. As we look in the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, who report that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there are two words that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are beloved to the most merciful. They are light on the tongue and heavy on the scale. They are glory and praise be to Allah and glory to Allah the most, the almighty. This is reported by Sayyid Bukhari and Muslim. Subhanallah Razin, one of the two beloved deep beloved words to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al Azim. Subhanallah Subhanallah bihamdihi, Subhanallah al Azim. We should strive hard to learn as to learn this beautiful saying. These these words are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they're way heavy on the scale on the day of judgment. These are things that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we truly claim we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should develop, we should make time and effort to learn about this noble saying, these words of praise, these words of gratitude, these words of praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say them and strive to implement them in our life. For these are, for these, are these that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also. And in the hadith of Am Amir ibn Sa'ir radiallahu anhu who reported that he was in the fall of his he was in the fall of his camel when his son came to him and he saw Sa'ir and he said to him, I seek refuge in Allah from the evil this Friday. He dismounted and he took and he he dismounted and he said to him, You're busy with your camel and sheep. You abandoned people when they were competing for authority. Amir struck his chest and said to him, Be quiet, for I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily Allah love does Allah love a servant who fear him, who is independent. Subhanallah as in this report by Sayyid Muslim. One of the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love, those people who fear him, who continuously fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear is punishment, fear is displeasure, fear of losing the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fear of losing the relationship between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who strive to be independent. These are characteristics of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love as he reported by Sayyid Muslim. So we should strive hard to be among those people. If we truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a characteristic that we should strive to earn. We should strive to develop. As in the hadith of Imran ibn Hussein radiallahu anhu who reported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily Allah love his believing slave who is poor and does not beg order who raised many children. This is reported by Musna uh, Sunna ibn Majah. Subhanallah that Allah subhanahu that the that those servants that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love. Allah love the believing slave who's poor does not beg others. For indeed the upper hand is better than lower hands and who raise many children. Why? Because they depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They strive hard to do things that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do not beg people but they strive to do their best and they contain whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us. This is a characteristic of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love. For this reason, the best Muslim are those who enumerate these beautiful characteristics of Allah as much as it is possible for them to do so. The attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are internal and inherently good. So we are to take them as a, chari a charity value, charitable value upon which we build our community. Subhanallah alazim. For this reason, the best Muslim are those who emanate the beautiful characteristics of, of Allah as much it is possible for them to do so. The attributes of Allah are eternal and inherently good. So we are to take them as a charitable value on which we shall build our community. Subhanallah alazim. We should strive hard to implement these beautiful characteristics that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed, we claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should do things that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, things that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn Qayyim, Rahim Allah, one of my favorite scholars, he commented, he says, the matter, this matter of the beautiful names of Allah, the most beloved creation to him are those who take on those implement characteristics. The most hateful of them are those who take on the opposite characteristic. For this reason, Allah hates disbelief. Injustice, arrogance, hard-heartedness, 
miserly, miserly, cowardice, disgrace, wickedness. He the glorified is beautiful and he love the be and he love the beautiful. He's knowledgeable and he love the scholar. He is merciful and he love the merc the merciful. He is excellent and he love those who act in the best manner. He is appreciative and he love the grateful. He is patient and he love the patient. And he is generous and he love generous generosity. This is reported by Uda Ibn Sabirni. Subhanallah Lazin. As Ibn Qayyim mentioned, these are characteristics that Allah loves, so we should strive hard to implement those characteristics. Characteristics that Allah does not love or deeds that Allah does not love, you should strive hard to stay away from those characteristics. For indeed, we claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a time to put our love to the test. Also, Ibn Qayyim Josiah Rahim Allah commenting, saying the attribute of generosity is the attribute of Allah, the majestic, for He gives and does not take. He feeds is not fed. He is the most generous of generous, the noblest of noble, the most beloved creation to him or those who take up with these necessary characteristics. Indeed, Allah is noble and he loves nobility from his servant. He is knowledgeable and he loves the scholar. He is powerful and he loves courage. He is beautiful and he loves beauty. This is reported by Al Wabil Al Sabid. Subhanallah al Azim. What a beautiful saying that we should think about it. We should be honest with ourselves. And make time, make efforts to strive to do things that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To develop beautiful characteristics that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be a reflection of these virtue, the virtues in the name and attribute of Allah does not mean that we have share in divinity. As nothing in the creation can be likened to the creator. Rather it means that, Allah's, it means that Allah manifests attribute to us. So our goal is to be... To be among those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in this noble hadith. To strive hard to be among those people whom Allah loves. To strive hard to do things that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will conclude here with one of the beautiful hadith. In which, which is reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. Who reported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. When Allah loves a servant he called up on Jibreel and said. Verily Allah Verily I love this person so you should love him and Jibreel love him and make an announcement in the heaven saying that Allah love this person we should love him so does the dweller of the heavens love him and he is honoring earth. When Allah is angry with serving he called Jibreel and said I have resentment for this person so you resent him and then Jibreel is resentful toward him and make an announcement in the heaven saying, Verily Allah is resentful with this person, so you should resent him. Thus he become resentful with him, and he is hay in the earth. This is reported by Sayyid al Muslim. Subhanallah al -Azim. We should ponder about this noble hadith. What mentioned when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves a person, you will make an announcement to the angels, and the angels will love him, and the creation will love the, those love those people whom Allah loves. And when Allah hates a person, then the ends will hate that person and the creation will hate that person. So we should strive hard to stay away from any characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love. We should strive hard to do things that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, things that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and develop characteristics that are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let us put the, our love to the test. That is the question. Let us put our love to the test. Let us ponder by all the things that I mentioned and strive hard to implement as much we can. If we truly claim that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I will conclude here. Whatever good that you have heard is indeed by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever error and mistake you have heard is indeed from me and shaitan na'natullah. I ask Allah to forgive me and to have mercy on us and to guide all of us. Conclude here. Subhanahu wa bihamdihi. أشهد أن لا إله أنت وأستغفرك وأتوب إلي السلام عليك رحمة الله وبركاته يا بلادي يا بلادي يا بلادي يا بلادي يا بلادي يا حبيبة يا بلادي يا قوادي يا مرادي يا ودادي عشت لي حرة طول السنين يا بلادي يا حبيبة يا بلادي يا بلادي يا بلادي يا حبيبة يا بلادي يا بلادي يا حبيبة يا بلادي يا بلادي